Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely week so far and enjoying my haul videos that I've been doing all week and I've got two more left after today. I just want to start off by saying a massive, massive thank you because last night I hit 3,000 YouTube subscribers on this channel and it honestly means the world. I've written a blog post on it so if you want to have a read about that, me saying thank you um, and a little bit more, then I'll link that down below but I just honestly, it's like the best feeling on earth and it just makes me more and more determined to keep making these videos and make them better each time as well. Today's video is going to be a beauty haul and if you saw my video the other day, that was all kind of high end and bits and pieces from different shops that aren't technically Boots or Superdrug. Today, it's the stuff that I've got to show you is just from those shops. So it's all from Boots and Superdrug. This has been stuff that has accumulated over weeks and weeks. This is in no way a haul that I did in one shop. I've been buying things sporadically over the recent weeks and I just thought today, while everything was building up and I'm doing these haul videos, that it was a good opportunity to show you. I'll start off with some hair care bits and the first one is a travel size collab dry shampoo and this was from Superdrug. They, it's exclusive to Superdrug and it's my favourite dry shampoo. I really like the sheer invisible one. I'm not too keen on the volumising one because I feel like that one, you can really feel it in your hair and what I like about this is that you can't tell you've got it in. I used it today just on my roots just to give me some more volume and to kind of freshen my hair up a little bit and I really, really like this and I always want to have a travel size for when I'm staying over places and I've run out so I picked up one of those. And then I also, I think at the time when I bought this there was an offer on, this was discounted and I think at the time this was discounted in Boots and this is the Aussie 3 Miracle Oil Reconstructor Lightweight Oil Treatment for Damaged Hair and this says it's for, it gives intensive care and I just really like the look of this. I love the smell of Aussie products. Their dry shampoo really disappointed me and I would say to stay away from that completely because it was so bad. It was more like a hairspray but this just really intrigued me. I like that it's an oil with a pump and not one that you have to squeeze out onto your hands first. I like that you can just spray it directly onto your hair. Hopefully it will just be really nice and make my hair a little bit fresher. The next thing that I've pulled out are a real basic item and I've got three packets because I think they were on offer when I got them. And these are just the Boots Essentials Moisturising Cleansing Wipes for dry skin. And I just always have these to take the makeup off the back of my hand or if I need to tidy up any areas just quickly, I always like to have these just lying around. So I don't need to buy any of these for a while. I ordered some nail varnishes from L'Oreal on Boots Online because I really like the new, the style of the new bottles. They've reformulated and repackaged their nail varnishes. And I think you now get more for the same or even less amount of money. And I really like these. They were $4.99 and on three for two. So I bought the shade 114 and I had this on in a video the other day. It's a really nice kind of creamish baby pink color. It reminds me of Fiji by Essie, which is one of my favorite nail varnishes. And then I also bought 662 and this one is a very nudish brown color. I really like this. Something a little bit different. I don't really tend to wear brown nail varnishes, but I just thought it was kind of on trend this season. And then I also bought 666, which is this green color, which I saw quite a while ago and didn't buy. And then it's just one of those things that I just keep thinking, I actually really like it. So that's why I ordered it. So I got these three and I think they're really, really pretty. And I really like the formula of these. I've got a few things from Soap and Glory because there was something new out, something that I wanted to try for ages and then it was on three for tea. The Soap and Glory Archery Pencil because this is just my go-to everyday eyebrow pencil. I love this thing. It is incredible. It's a complete dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I think it's eight pounds but they're always on offer and you get a spoolie at one end and then on the other end you get the twist up product and I think that this, it used to only be available in two colours but I think now it's available in three if not more so I think that they definitely should expand their range because it's a really good product. And then the thing I wanted to try from them for so long is their Super Cat Carbon Black Extreme Eyeliner Pen and I don't tend to wear liquid eyeliner, gel eyeliner all that often but I'm trying more and more to get better at it because I think the better I am at it the more I want to wear it. So this is just a black liquid liner. This is just a plain black eyeliner with a felt tip and hopefully it's going to be 
very black and very easy to apply. And the last thing that I picked up from them, this is in the shade Mocker Up Your Mind. And I think this is a new product from Soap and Glory. I've never seen it before. They've finally come out with a brow gel. So this is just standard brow gel packaging, really teeny tiny. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be good. It says it's a volume boosting brow fiber gel. It's tinted and it makes them look thicker, so high hopes. Move on to a couple of face products. And the first one is a new release by Rimmel. If, by the way, you want to see me do a first impressions video with any of this stuff, whether it's stuff that's actually new out or just stuff that's new to me, then let me know in the comments because I'd be quite happy to try some of this on camera for the first time for you all and let you know my true honest opinion as I first use it. So this is what the Kate Moss one looks like and basically you get a highlight, a bronzer and a blush in here and this was I think £5. I really like the packaging and you get so much product for how much money you spend on it and I just think it's a really good idea. They come in two shades I believe so far and I just think that it's an amazing idea and about time that Rimmel brought out something like this. So hopefully these will be nice and pigmented. I really like the blushes that Rimmel do and also some of their bronzers so hopefully it will be nice. And then I also bought the highlighting palette from Sleek and I got this from Superdrug. This comes in four shades and it's one of those things that I've had my eye on for quite a while and then I saw Sam Chapman use it in one of her videos and I was like okay I need to buy this now. Um, so this is gorgeous gold packaging, very a lot more expensive looking than the usual sleep packaging, which can tend to sometimes look a little bit cheap because it is quite a cheap, affordable makeup brand. And inside you get four highlight shades. You get three powder and one cream highlight in here. And there's a bronzy tone one, more of a pinky purpley shade. This is the cream highlight here, which Sam actually used as a base for an eyeshadow and it looked really beautiful and then a more yellowy toned one over here and this was £10, you get four highlights and I really am impressed with this. The swatches, they come out so amazing and I can't wait to use this properly. I'll just do the last few skincare bits so that then I can move on to the more exciting beauty bits and the first thing, I've got a couple of things from Una Brennan which is a brand that I got picked up in Boots when they were on offer and this is the Vitamin C Brighten Dark Circles Eye Cream. So it's quite nice packaging and I just, this was on offer for, I think from £12 to 6 or something like that. So I just thought while it was on offer I was going to try something from here because I've not tried the brand before. Little pipette squeeze out tube. So hopefully it's going to be quite a nice eye cream to use in the mornings. And then also from her I bought the, it's the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Probiotic Micellar Cleansing Water for Sensitive Skin. I just think this is really sweet and innocent packaging. It looks very non-offensive and again this is on offer so I thought it's another cleansing water to try while it's on offer so I'm going to give it a go. And then the last skincare bit was new, a new release and I picked this up but it was a few weeks ago now and this is a micellar oil infused cleansing water from Garnier and this is the one for dry and sensitive skin. It's a two-tone oil cleanser and it says that it removes even waterproof makeup and cleanses and nourishes no rinsing and it claims to be non-greasy. So this kind of sounds like it's like an all-in-one product. I really like their cleansing water and I think that this is going to be a step, go a step further than that in the way that it can remove like really hard to get off mascara and I just really like the sound of it and I just think it looks quite cool. So I'm gonna give this a go and I'll let you all know whether it's worth it or not and what it's like. A couple more nail varnishes and these are from Essie. If you saw my vlog the other day, I actually mentioned these in there. I got the shade Chillato, which is this really stunning lemony pastel shade of yellow and I've had my eye on this for a long time. And I also got the shade Maximilian Strasser Hair, which is a blue toned grey and I've seen this, since I bought it, I've seen it all over Instagram. So I'm really pleased that I bought it because I do really like it when I see it on people's photos. So I think they're very two spring friendly shades. Next up is a lip liner from Rimmel and this is in number 47 Cappuccino. It is a true brown shade. I've really gotten into these colours at the moment, as you can probably tell from the colour that's on my lips currently and I really like the Rimmel lip liner. Cheap, cheerful and they do the job. A concealer from Seventeen next and this is their Stay Time Up to 18 Hour Wear Concealer and this is actually a recommendation from one of you that you left in my comments that this is the concealer that you swear by and I thought I'd give it a go so I picked up one of the lightest shades I think um, so I'm going to report back and let you know what I think of this because it's probably the same price range as the collection one that I really really like so hopefully 
it will be just as nice. From the brand Gosh, which I got in Superdrug, I am trying one of their eyeshadow sticks and this is their Forever eyeshadow stick. And I quite like the packaging of this, it's just quite dinky. And the shade that I got was O2 Beige and it's just a beautiful, very soft golden colour that I think would be nice as a highlight or as a base for all the eyeshadows. The reason that I bought that was because it was on buy and get on half price and I went in for their eyeshadow palette in the shade To Be Cool in Copenhagen, which looks like this. They are all matte shades, you get nine eyeshadows and I've been holding off buying this for a while. This is something else I mentioned on my blog. It is quite simple black plain packaging and then inside you get, as I said, nine eyeshadows and they are all quite cool toned in fact they are all cool toned and i just thought that this would look really nice with the more brownish lips that we all keep well that i really like to keep wearing at the moment and i just think that it's a way for me to have a lot of my eyeshadows and different colors in one place i think this is 10 pounds which i think is a really good deal for an eyeshadow palette like this i'm really hoping that they are of good quality and last but not least i've got five lip products to show you which are probably the most exciting things that i like to buy when it comes to makeup this is the lipstick that i'm wearing now i've got it on top of the OCC lip liner that I featured in my video the other day but on the top of it I've got the lipstick by Rimmel and this is their lasting finish Heather Shimmer in 66 and again this was a recommendation from Sam Chapman she wore this in one of her recent makeup tutorials she actually wore this combo together I love this if I saw this in the shop and I went to swatch it I would probably not pick it up it's not necessarily something I would usually go for and I was reading the comments on her, on her video and apparently this is like a firm favourite of people that when they were younger, years and years ago, this was their first lipstick that they bought from Rimmel. So I really, really like this. Again, it's cheap, it feels comfortable to wear and I really like the colour. And then two new, two new lip products from Revlon and these are actually new releases. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colours and I got the shade Seduction, which is this one and this is a muted kind of nude tone pink and I also got the shade Passion which is a little bit brighter and these are matte lip colours. I haven't used these yet. I've wanted to get my hands on these for so long. The last couple of items are from NYX and these are not going to be to everyone's taste but I really really like these and the formula isn't the best that I've ever tried especially from NYX but they are a couple of their NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks and I've got the shade Teddy and also Honeymoon. So as you can see they are very brown toned lip colours, but these remind me the packaging to start off with the way that they've written lingerie on the um, on the actual tube it reminds me so much of the Kylie Jenner lip kits. These two are just really gorgeous colours. They have a lot more different colours in the range, but these are the two that I went for and I wore the darker one the other day. It takes a couple of applications to make it opaque and to really get it to where you want it. And they do feel a little bit drying but not for me too uncomfortable. I don't really mind when they, when lip products do make my lips feel quite dry because I just kind of think that it's worth it if I like the lip product. And that's what I'd say for these. I do really, really like these. I like the color. I think other brands have not been brave enough to bring out shades like this in the drugstore yet. So I'm really happy that NYX have and I really like these too. So that is everything in today's haul. I. I'm so excited to start using some of that stuff now. If any of you want a first impressions video or a review on the blog or anything like that, anything that I've just spoken about, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to do that for you. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I will see you all tomorrow. And tomorrow's haul will be an eBay haul, which I have got quite a few nice bits from eBay recently and I just thought that I might as well bung it in a haul video and include it in this week. So that is tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.